Hello and welcome back. Today I have another thermal image camera and it's high resolution. It's 256 by 192 but this time it is a handheld and it is from Guide. It is the E2 and the E2 Plus. I have here the E2 Plus and it was actually requested by my viewers because I showed the little Infiray. We have the top down that's a little bit bigger and the thermal monster and they were great also for PCB inspection but you need to click it on onto the phone which makes it very portable and really small but some say I like something that is all in one we like a handheld but also with a high resolution so I found one it is a borrow from the Ayla shop so let's have a look it comes in a beautiful box. I like the design, it looks very clean. And on top, the most important is that it is very well protected. A look at this and it looks good. It feels kind of rubbery, it feels really strong. It comes with a USB cable proper and a charger with a nice safety cord also, so you can't really drop it, although it will survive a few meters drop, I think, because it feels really strong. It is slightly rubbery. It's a nice plastic. And look at this, 265, 192, great resolution. It even has a laser pointer. It has the thermal camera, but it also has a visual camera. And we have here the trigger to record a photo and a long push will give you a video and here because it's the E2 plus you have an auto focus it will auto focus by itself but if you want to trigger it manual you can also do that uh, in the bottom we have this a screw you it is uh, like a camera screw so you can put it on a tripod if you want to use it in a fixed uh, position that's a nice extra on top here. We have a USB. The USB is to charge, but also it has internal memory. So you can download your pictures and videos, but it also has a Wi-Fi. I already mentioned the E2 and the E2 Plus. Well, they are almost the same. The E2 is wide angle and infinite focus. So for big objects, let's say you want to do a thermal image of your house or your car, it's just big objects, then it's better to have the E2. If you like to do smaller objects or closer by, the E2 Plus is probably the better option because it has a smaller angle, which makes the objects appear very close, and then you can get even closer. Both, by the way, can use the same micro lens, so you can even come closer than that, and then it becomes great for PCB inspection. I have here my spare tripod, so let's see if it fits. Yeah, no problem. Standard size. Look at this. I can just uh, fix it to my tripod so we can have a clear, steady shot. Let's see if I can take you through the menu. Let's switch it on. It's the E2 Plus. Now we see already the thermal image. I put my finger in front while well, it's now very close by so we don't see too much. Um, when we make a picture, it makes both the visual and the infrared picture at the same time. And here we have the preview. This is a mixed, I think. And here we have visual only and picture in picture and the infrared. I usually just keep it in infrared. Um, you have here the maximum temperature it's measuring, the lowest temperature it's measuring, and the center, which is here in the corner. So let's go to the menu. Here we can go to our stored pictures that we shoot before. The super resolution mode is switched on. The temperature range, we have the emissivity. Um, different type of objects and materials have a different reflection so the temperature could be different like for instance if you are me trying to measure a mirror or aluminium or something that reflects more then you can change this setting so for wood there is a table for that uh, the palette so we can change the colors here if we want the center point 
uh, what type of units we want to use. This is a region of interest. Uh, I think that is then in the square in the middle. Temperature alarm, if it gets too hot. It's kind of a reference to the ambient temperature that you can set here. The distance. I saw a video from Idle Shop and they say just let it be the distance because you have out of focus. So just leave it as it is. The units, auto power off, the brightness of the display. If you want to laser guide or not, I have that switched off. Uh, the fruit light, if you want a little bit of light around, it's just visual light. Uh, daytime setting and the languages. And you can reset or format the internal card. I didn't find the slot for an SD card, so it has internal storage, visual. And here is the Wi Fi setting. Here you can scan for your wireless network. I can do that just to show you. It needs to be switched on. It will look for the network that is around. And you connect it to your network. You can, we can select here the network that we want if you would use that. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network available around you or you don't know the password, you can also use it as an access point mode and then this device will act as the Wi-Fi and you connect to it from a laptop or a computer with the Wi-Fi. USB mode is for the... Um, here you set it to, that it becomes a memory stick or not or you change it probably to video streaming and I will set that back. You can do a local update. You probably need to put the firmware on the internal storage or you do over the air firmware updates. That's actually quite cool function. But then of course you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi for this. Camera info, we probably get our current firmware version, serial numbers, etc. My main focus will be on the PCB inspection all close by, but I still wanted to show you because this is the E2 Plus with a small angle. I still wanted to show you that you still can use it for your house if you want to measure where are my pipes of the heater in the floor. So I made some pictures. It is made with an uh, distance or about three meters, although it looks like I was like one and a half meter, but that is because of the angle and it looks like this. Also made a little picture of my small dog, so the distance between me and the dog was also like two meters, although it also looks a little bit closer. So I have the noise source here. It has been on for a while. So let's see. You can see already it is very close by because this is like 40 centimeters. And it says it is uh, about 30 degrees. But let's go a little bit closer by. Look at this. It is all warm. I will switch off the light. Here we can see some components. Let me make a picture of this. Let me get closer. Now it doesn't focus. Now it focuses. This is like 10 centimeters. But we can see the components. Look at that. Let's try this with a macro lens. It just needs to be put on top. Like this, and then we can close by. Look at that, how close we can get. System. Here we have the transistor, 35 degrees, but these resistors or caps here are, look at that, 30. This is a transistor, probably a little bit hotter. 
Sorry for the shaking. But we can also stream that from the laptop. Look at this. So if we put this on the fixed tripod and it's more stable, we would have a great look. Let me try that. Now my setup is better. I'm using the tripod and you can see I'm really at four or five centimeters close to the component. And that works great with a micro lens. And look at this on the screen, how close we are. So now we can do some live real close by inspections. Let's have a look at the other transistor here. It's a little bit delayed. Here we are at 50 degrees. So the camera by itself, it is an all-in-one. You can do everything from the screen and you can plug it with the USB to extract all your uh, pictures or videos. Uh, you can also stream what I'm doing now. I stream it now with the USB cable, but you should be able to do that also on the Wi-Fi. I didn't get that to work yet. What I did get to work is that you can extract the pictures also over Wi-Fi, but you need to use the access point mode for that. The Wi-Fi function, I think, because you don't get any feedback what the IP number is, I don't think there is a web server there. I think that is purely to do your over-the-air firmware updates, and that's it. And, uh, well, with the access point mode, you can all do this. This is pretty neat, I think, with the laptop. To stream, I use the pod player here. It's just freeware. You select, uh, I want to stream from webcam, and then you select the, the infrared device. This is the software from guide. And when you open a picture, you have the visual or the infrared or my heater here. And this is what it looks like with all the pipes and the power supply here in the lab that runs uh, all the time here. So you, and I think you can even do a thermo report. Here it is. Yeah, maybe this is nicer with the proper screen capture. But uh, yeah, it is very useful. Apologies for the screen capture. Usually I use very nice software for it, but my computer was updating and I have a little problem with that. I will fix that later. If you like to know more about software, Aedlus Shop has a few very nice videos and they also show you all the ways to connect to the software, but also there is an option to upscale your pictures. So this already high IR resolution, you can even get better. So that's it. The guide E2 Plus, perfect for PCB inspection, especially when you have are using the micro lens. If you want to do larger objects, go for the normal E2 version. Physically, it looks very, very strong, I think. If you are kind of in industrial or you're just not that careful with your equipment, this will work a lot better for you than the, than the phone uh, click-ons. One thing I cannot really put my finger on is it sometimes feels that when I compare it to the camera click-ons that it sometimes seems that the image is uh, smoother or a little bit more sensitive than, than on this one. But it could be just the display itself here also because the phone displays have a lot higher resolution, although the camera resolution is the same. And probably the processing, especially on the modern phones, is probably faster than the little processor that is in here. But it is very, very slightly different. And it is also kind of a feeling. I cannot really prove that, but that is just something that I wanted to add. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.